I'm Jeff Fischel. Let's take a look at the menu for ACC now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Sylvia Hatchell can't coach her team yet, but the Hall of Famer is trying to inspire them. The conference is out with this season's first basketball players of the week, and Florida State loses its Jameis Winston insurance policy for a few weeks. Let's start so surreal last night at UNC. Women's hoops, Tennessee visiting Carolina. No Pat Summit, no Sylvia Hatchell. Summit has retired dealing with early onset Alzheimer's. Hatchell battling leukemia. She just got out of the hospital a few days ago. Could not pass up a chance though to talk to her team before last night's game. When I think about you guys, I get so fired up and I just, you know, I want to be back so badly for you guys because, you know, you don't realize how much something means to you until you don't have it. In the game, Alicia Gray led the Tar Heels with 15 points, but it was not enough. The fourth ranked Vols opened up a 12 point halftime lead and went on to beat the 12th ranked Tar Heels 81 65. UNC was held to 30% shooting. Meanwhile, Hatchell says she'll be back and there's no reason to doubt her. The first players of the week this season. Good to see Chelsea Gray healthy and dominating with a new kneecap. She had 22 points and five assists to lead number two Duke to a 70 58 win over ninth ranked Cal. Rookie of the week, Georgia Tech's highly touted Kayla Davis. She put up double doubles in her first two college games, both wins for the Yellow Jackets. For the men, the player of the week, Syracuse sophomore guard Trevor Cooney, he hit seven of eight threes and finished with a career high 27 in the Orange's 82-60 season opening win over Cornell. Rookie of the week, Duke's Jabari Parker in his first college game. He scored 22 points on eight of 10 shooting in Duke's win over Davidson. Tonight, it is Duke versus Kansas, Jabari Parker versus Andrew Wiggins. Check out the highlights here on the ACC.com. Jameis Winston's backup, Jacob Coker, had to have knee surgery yesterday to repair his meniscus. It's not clear when he'll be back for Florida State. The Seminoles have been in so many blowouts. Coker's played in all but two games this season. Redshirt freshman Sean McGuire is now second string behind famous Jameis. Speaking of quarterbacks, you have to check out the ACC Digital Network's new series, The Greatest, starring November 25th. The ACC DN will reveal the top 10 greatest quarterbacks to play for ACC schools as chosen by a panel of experts. Watch and see which of your favorite signal callers have made the cut. And that's the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.